So far, we've been talking just about dates. But what about times? Yes, R also has built-in objects for handling dates with times, something we'll call date times. ISO 8601 also has something to say about date times. Just like dates, if you have an accompanying time, it should be written from largest unit to smallest unit using a fixed number of digits and optionally separating the units with a colon. When combined with a date, the time is sometimes prefixed with the character T. There are two built-in types of objects for date times in R, POSIX LT and POSIX CT. POSIX LT stores a date in a list with components for each unit, whereas POSIX CT stores the date as the number of seconds since the beginning of 1970. Because of its simpler structure, POSIX CT is more amenable to being stored in data frames, and the one we'll focus on exclusively. Just like date objects, there is a function to take a string and turn it into a POSIX CT object. And perhaps unsurprisingly, it's called as.posixct. And also just like dates, as.posixct will read in ISO 8601 date times. But anything else will need to be passed specially, something you'll master in Chapter 2. ISO 8601 also allows the specification of a time zone. If no time zone is specified, it is assumed to be local time. The suffix on a time of Z denotes a time in the UTC time zone. UTC is short for Coordinated Universal Time, an international standard which doesn't observe daylight savings. Other time zones are specified in ISO 8601 as offsets from this time zone. Unfortunately, as.posixct won't recognize the ISO 8601 specification of time zones. It will assume the local time zone unless you set another one with the TZ argument. You'll learn more about time zones in Chapter 4. Once you've got date times in R, they behave nicely, just like dates. You can compare date times, subtract date times, and plot date times. You'll try all these things in the following exercises.